Welcome back to the channel. My name is Clay Wong and today is going to be absolutely epic because lockdown here in Melbourne, Australia has just ended. So that means we can travel out of a five kilometer radius and go for a drive. I'm going to be taking my Honda Civic EG K20 project. It's been a long time coming since I've actually taken this car out. Let's go for a drive and hit the road. I'm going to go get myself acquainted. This is gonna take some time. So the thing is about my EG is that I don't really drive her often. It was once upon a time a little daily that I had. However, since then, I really wanted to keep her in pristine condition just because it's a little bit hard to live with and I've only recently just finished restoring it. Actually, several times now because of incidents that have happened just cosmetically to the car and I really wanna keep it looking nice. I've got the car currently hooked up on the C-Tech charger as you can see. So that is all I need to do when I have to take out the car from the charge. It's really convenient not having the battery up there in the front. So before I get any comments about the steering wheel on the EG Civic, I did get it with the car when it was first purchased and I do have plans to change it. Thought I'd make a little pit stop here at the Shell station. Before we do any sort of spirited driving, I really want to make sure all the tire pressures are properly inflated before we hit the road because it can be a little bit twitchy if you're pushing it towards the limit. Let's go pump up the tires. Thankfully, all the tires were pretty inflated for the car to begin with already, so I just needed a few PSI in all four corners. It's a beautiful day out for a drive. I also completely forgot to mention, but I want to say a huge shout out to Absolute Enthusiasts for hooking me up with club registration on the EG Civic. They made it such an easy process. We finally made it out here once again and we made it in one piece. This car has been sitting in the shop at Cambria Body Works. It's been getting repairs. It's been a little bit of a headache, but best believe that this car has been such a reliable build throughout the course of its life. As a daily driver, it really showcased me how epic of a motor the K-Series engine is, especially in an EG platform. This car has been honestly one of the best cars that I've ever driven. I'm not here to boast, brag, or be biased about my own builds, but what has gone into this car has really taught me that it's all about having a raw, visceral driving experience, and that truly encapsulates the idea of a driver's car. It's just so undiluted, pure driving Nirvana. It really just gives me a sense of occasion, and every time I hop behind the wheel of this thing, it just feels so special. And to be straight up with you guys, this car doesn't cost a whole lot to build, so if you're looking to replicate a K20 Civic project, it's not that expensive, and purely for bang for buck performance, this car truly has it in spades because it's a little bit understated. Not many people know about just how great it can potentially be, as well as just how fun it is when you're driving this thing. And after two and a half years of ownership with the K20 Civic EG project, it's safe to say that I'm really happy with it. It's come such a long way. There's still a lot of things that I want to adjust and get done to this build. So it's far from being complete, but as it is, 
driving it, experiencing it. It just fulfills all of the things that I've wanted to achieve in a project car like this. I've received a lot of good offers for this car as well recently and that kind of scares me because these cars have gone up so much in value, especially even just buying a K20 engine in itself. That is already like three to four grand. Prices for these EGs have just gone through the roof. Whether or not it's a B16 or a B18, they're already so much fun. And that just showcases the potential that you can have in one of these old Civics. I've got a couple cars that I'm looking at and it's really been tempting. You might be seeing it on the channel really soon. There's probably going to be a lot of comments and questions asking me as to why I haven't driven this car more often. And that's purely because for the best part about six months, this car was sitting, trying to get repairs, trying to get things sorted to get it back onto the road. And in my previous vlog, I outlined exactly as to why I hadn't been driving this car. So without further ado, guys, let's go for a drive in the EG Civic. Go for a drive, guys. Okay, I don't know how loud it is gonna be in the EG. There's a lot of noises, rattling, you know, vibrations everywhere. So you're gonna have to forgive me if the audio is a little bit blown out. I think it's also kind of dark in here. Let me put down my window and turn up the brightness or ISO. Okay, my windows are really tinted, so that's probably gonna add to the fact that it's just so dark out here. Without daylight savings here in Melbourne, you know, it just gets dark so quickly. It's not even five o'clock yet, and it's like pitch black outside. <laughs> okay, the car is super bumpy. Yeah, this is just raw driving fun. Okay, it's very stiff. It's definitely set out for the track, so driving it out here honestly isn't the most ideal setting. Oh my. <laughs> I've really missed driving this thing. attention when you're driving this car. <laughs> it's so fast when you find an open stretch of roads and it just grips the tarmac. Jeez. It's been a very long time since I've driven this vehicle out here and you really gotta find your stride when you're driving this car hard because it really tests you as a driver. Everything is just so alive at your fingertips and I kind of forget what it's like driving this car. It's insanely raw. You know, it literally just feels like it's gonna kill me. This car weighs barely over 900 kilograms and it makes 140 kilowatts of power at just the front wheels even potting around roughly at the speed limit now that's the beauty of these old school classic hondas i think when it comes down to it any car from the early 90s whether or not it's a honda old toyota they're just so much fun to drive even at the speed limit and that's the beauty about these cars that I just love so much. Oh my lord. I need a second. <laughs> this car is actually so intoxicating to drive. I honestly hope that it's capturing some kind of audio for you guys because it's so rattly loud and it's just making so many noises in here.
Whew. This car honestly feels like it's trying to kill me. Every time I step on the gas, you know, everything just goes absolutely wild and then you hit VTEC and it goes nuts. I've had such a blast driving the K20 Civic EG. Once again, it's been such a long time since I've actually been behind the wheel of this thing. You know, I really want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have supported me in this shift for the betterment of this channel moving forward with these vlog style videos. This is not going to be the end of car reviews forever. I'm still going to throw them in here and there. I've got a few more backlogged on the high drive in actual fact, but this new vlog style content is going to be so much more engaging and I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. I'd love to talk to you guys more about the K20 Civic project and just how it is to drive, but as you can see, it's getting pretty dark out here. It's barely even five o'clock here in Melbourne and you know, without daylight savings, the sun just sets so quickly. I just want to wrap this up before things get completely dark outside. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, tell me what you liked about the K20 Civic project and as well as what other cars you want to see featured on the channel real soon. Consider subscribing as well and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.